my name is teacher Evelyn and I work for VIP kid and I wanted to share with you a poem you see I have a friend on YouTube named Cindy Bennett please look up her channel she just shared a beautiful poem called the touch of the master's hand and so the name of her video is the touch of the master's hand poem and uh, she read it and I think I've heard it before and it brought me to tears it brought her to tears it was a beautiful poem <coughs> excuse me and so she inspired me to share with you all my favorite poem that I have shared over the years at many talent nights and talent shows in college and at camp and it's been a long many moons since I've shared it with anyone but it's still in my brain and I've got it in front of me um, it's a beat poem so a beat poem is different than a regular poem a regular poem has a sing-songy rhythm uh, a beat poem has a specific way and certain words that pop out in a certain way that you say it so it's a little bit different um, I also I say this poem in my own style a little bit different than how the author wrote it the author is a guy that might have something to do with it but I just fell in love with this poem so this is called the hug poem by Bradley Hathaway and here it goes one moment <clears throat> okay the hug poem by Bradley Hathaway I read about how you touched them and they were healed or even if someone just touched your cloak they were forever changed you let a broken woman bathe your feet in her tears and you washed your best friend's feet I'm just wondering though did you ever just hug people I mean I know it's a silly question and all and I'm sure you would have why wouldn't you have but it's just one of those things that was never mentioned and it got me to thinking about it and how whenever there was a touch from you sins were forgiven and sickness fell I think I'm caught up with my sins right now and last time I checked all my body parts are working properly I'm not I'm nothing special here I don't think our encounter would have ended up in your Gospels or anything because all I really need is a hug and that's okay for me to imagine right that's not conflicting with any sort of theology is it okay good then hug me but not one of these one arm around the neck sideways one arm around the neck type hugs or the ghetto right arm clasp fist el elbows to chest pat pat on the back back or do you put your right arm over my left arm and I put my right arm under your left arm and we make this weird sort of diagonal thing no nah, man none of those bear hug me man take your old school carpenter arms and throw them around my upper body leaving my arms dangling underneath yours somewhere and I can barely move them because you're squeezing me so hard but don't pick me up and make my back pop because I hate it when people do that and then just hold me hold me until I start to cry because I want to cry but I just can't seem to do it on my own I've been teary-eyed once recently but not even enough for a drip down my cheek there's just hurt in my soul that needs to be purged so hold me here in this hugging pose until the pain is flowing from my eyes and nose I hope this video and this poem was a blessing to your soul. I know I didn't say it perfectly. I stuttered a little bit, but please go check out my friend Cindy Bennett's page and go ahead and subscribe to her. She's got up and coming videos coming up and definitely check out and like this poem video that she just shared. All right. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Goodbye.